Hello and welcome to my video on how to do a latissimus transfer. Uh, this is for a patient with an irreparable subscapularis tear. It's procedure is performed through the um, delta pectoral exposure with the patient in the beach chair position. You can see here the patient has XF external rotation, which I showed earlier, and anterior subluxation. You can see they're complete. Com there's really no subscapularis here at all. We're going to prepare our footprint, which is what I'm doing here on the lesser tuberosity, and that's where our transfer is going to go. The next, so you can see here that we're just kind of preparing that area. We're removing a prior anchor um, from a, um, this is from prior prior repairs. The next step here is going to be to isolate our latissimus. So we're going to have to work under the pectoralis. You can see I'm using the cobell to elevate the pectoralis, and then I'm going to work under the pectoralis here to free up the latissimus. And you can see it down there, it was the white tendon. We have to work a little bit again under the pectoralis here. You can take down the pectoralis, but it's better to leave that in place because the patient needs all the internal rotators that they can get if they're missing the subscapularis. So you can see here the latissimus is very nicely isolated. We're gonna wanna do a little bit of dissection to isolate it to make sure we can take it down. So you can see here's the latissimus. We'll free it up a little bit to make sure it'll come up, but usually it comes up pretty easily. You wanna be careful here because the radial nerve is in close proximity and we don't want to injure that. This is a transfer of really just latissimus. So I've left the teres major intact below it. Once that release is complete and there's always a little bit of um, you know, of a tail here that connects it. Then you'll see it comes actually from where it's supposed to go, from where it was to up to where I'd like it to go. We're gonna place um, a um, Krakow suture within it to really get a good isolation of it. Um, and um, you can see here as we do that, um, it um, we get really good fixation of this tendon. It's kind of a thin ribbon-like tendon, but you can get really good sutures through it. Um, and you can feel really confident about your fixation. And then I've loaded these into a knotless anchor, which we're then going to put right up at the footprint. And then once that's in place, we can pull the sutures, which will bring the tendon up to where we want it to go. So this is a relatively straightforward way of doing the repair um, and gives us good fixation. And then we'll do some side to side sutures with kind of the remains of the subscapularis. You want to repair whatever the subscapularis you can at the same time, as well as over here to kind of the um, periosteum of the uh, anterior lateral humerus. So once that's complete, we've got a pretty satisfying transfer that comes up over the top and you can see that restricts the patient's external rotation um, and generally restores a lot of their internal rotation power. Thank you.